so obviously this was the week where uh, Jeffy B went to space and uh, floated around in a giant dick. That's what he did. He just floated in a in a penis. And I think we can safely say, y'all, space is circumcised. Whoa, that was my first thought when I saw that rocket. I was like, okay, okay, I see. Clearly not from Latin America. Not Catholic, you know what I'm saying? Jewish or Muslim. Or just born in the States, most likely. Very small balls. Just little small babies just hanging on. You know, interesting move. But that makes sense. Being a giant dick and having no balls is exactly what Jeff Bezos is. As a person, as a billionaire, excuse me, as a trillionaire, uh, I want to talk, obviously, about just how egregious it is that billionaires are going to the space on a year like this. But let's look at some of the things uh, that he said about his magic trip into space. Um, Jeff Bezos says his launch to space gave him greater appreciation of the Earth's fragility. That life-giving shell of air seems sizable from the ground. Quote, but when you get up above it, what you see is actually incredibly thin. This tiny little fragile thing. And as we move about the planet, we're damaging it, Bezos said, referring to greenhouse gas pollution. It's one thing to recognize that intellectually. It's another thing to actually see it with your own eyes, how fragile it really is. Almost like you could own it. You could have it. You could crush it. Cue the scene from Charlie Chaplin's The Great Dictator where he's just playing with the globe. Na, 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 na. I don't know what song plays at that point. Um, okay, buddy. Jeff Bezos realized how fragile life is now. It didn't take uh, his workers being like, hey, I'm dying on the job. I'm sweating profusely and I need a water break and not be docked pay for it. Didn't take that. It didn't take them trying to unionize in Bessemer, Alabama. Um, he realizes how fragile the earth is not and how much we need to protect it. Oh, oh, not from, let's see, uh, firing his employees at the Amazon headquarters for trying to implement more eco-friendly packaging solutions at the company. This is real. That didn't help him realize that we need to do more to help the earth. No, no, no. He had to spend billions of dollars and emit um, tons and tons and tons of, I don't know how many tons of CO2 into the atmosphere to rocket himself above the atmosphere with a bunch of other, his brother and a bunch of other fools um, to then throw Skittles in each other's mouths and then be like, oh my God, look at the earth. It's so cute. Can I own it? Oh my God, I already kind of do. Maybe we should keep it. There is a silver lining to all of this though, uh, which is that this is what Jeff Bezos looked like when he was trotting out to his, to his launch. Look at my man. Look at this fool with his fucking hat. This ill-fitting cowboy hat. Just like crocodile dumb D here. Who are you? What, what, what are you trying to do? This is just like uh, Space Cowboys, you know, that movie with Clint Eastwood and the other Tommy Lee Jones was the only cool guy who was on that. Here he is. And I immediately, I was like, I saw this dude, giant cowboy hat, right? Doesn't fit him very well. It's like, I don't know, like it's just too, his, he, like, I, I don't know if it needed to be high, sit higher. Who's like a cowboy who knows, I think it needs to sit just a little bit higher on his head. He doesn't have much of a forehead going on. Obviously he's bald, that's fine. Rock your baldness. But it immediately reminded me of someone else who's tried to wear big hats and has big dreams and goes amazing places like space without even leaving their home. Curb me, my big babies will make your dream come true. My big babies will do the same for you. When your room looks kind of weird and you wish that you weren't there, just close your eyes and make believe, and you can be anywhere. My bed, my bed. I'm not high, despite what I might look like. 
that's just me. That's just me on a Thursday, yo. He looked like a fucking Muppet baby. He looked like Kermit from the Muppet Babies. Come on. He looked ridiculous. And that wasn't all, of course. Uh, Bezos had a lot to say. And he had a lot. He had many people to thank for this trip. For his privilege of going to space. Uh, and this one stung a little bit more than I think most thanks. I feel like you just sort of thanked, you know, like they do in the Oscar speeches, you know, like my agent and my wife and like Sefini, don't don't do any more. But this is what he had to say about that. Hopefully the volume is a little louder. Or there's no volume. Either way, Francesca's gonna cry herself to sleep. Um, let's see if I can do it this way, y'all. And I also I want to thank uh, every Amazon employee and every Amazon customer because you guys paid for all of this. <laughs> so seriously, for every Amazon customer out there and every Amazon employee, thank you from the bottom of my heart very much. Every Amazon customer, uh, you know... When you're too lazy to go get uh, the right kind of screwdriver from your local hardware shop, when you don't support local businesses and you instead support my tentacled monopoly uh, uh, capitalist hellscape, um, you know, you're really helping my dreams and I want you to know, like I am think I I looked at my Amazon purchases, which have only been like five in the last like year. And I'm like, I'm regretting every single one. Like him saying that if you needed a reason to boycott Amazon, it's that asshole thanking you directly for him being able to go to space. Him being able to go to space the year after slash the year we're still in a global pandemic where people have lost hundreds of thousands of dollars of work, of people who have lost their lives, of, of extreme inequality, extreme climate change, of this moment when the very, the, the very last thing we need is billionaires in space. The very last thing we need is space tourism. We need fucking healthcare. You guys know the meme, just the meme like, healthcare, please. Healthcare, please. How dare you? So that's the customers. So all y'all who are like, I don't know, I have to shop on Amazon. No, you don't. You don't. Go, if, if, the, if somebody advertises on Amazon, obviously, you go to their website specifically and you can buy it through their website. Will it take a little longer? Yeah. Will you have saved on exploitation? Yes. Also that. It's like when I stopped buying H&M clothing where I was like, $6 for a dress? Like, what? A, who, what, are, what are you hiding from me? Does this come with a, a note from a small child telling me to adopt it? Does it come with blood stains of the working class? Because that's what it feels like this is. You're paying me to buy this dress? Something's not right here. So there's the customers. Then there's the workers. The same year that Amazon pulled out every stop uh, to prevent a, a, a factory floor from unionizing, the same year that Amazon has covered up COVID cases among its own workers, right? Right? whether it's here in the States or, or in Europe, the same year that they said, keep working the same year that Jeff Bezos, wealth has like quadrupled. He became a trillionaire. I don't even have the stats, but you guys know, we all know just how much Bezos made this last year. And now he's thanking them for this shit. Ooh, you don't get sicker. You don't get more salt in wounds than this. So workers had something to say about it, obviously. They had thoughts. Um, Jeff Bezos thanked Amazon workers for paying his for his space flight. For some, the feeling isn't mutual. <laughs> you don't say. So I quote, I can think of a lot of other things he could do with all that money he spent on better wages for starters, the homeless, the poor, mental health. Another current Amazon Fulfillment Center employee told Insider, I guess he's thanking us for putting the money in his pocket to do our 
to do so by our hard work, sacrificing our bonuses and stock options to make it possible, the Amazon employee in Indiana said. Amazon's hourly warehouse employees aren't eligible for stock options or bonuses. Mm, we'll get to more of that later. I feel like he just said that because he has a guilty conscience. He knows he's wrong for making money off treating workers like slaves. Slaves, the Staten Island employee said, referencing the grueling and potentially dangerous conditions of some Amazon workers. I don't think he feels guilty. I don't think you become a trillionaire. I don't think you systematically put businesses out of business uh, and evade that money, that much money in taxes and then refuse uh, to allow your workers to unionize and then wear this hat. You don't feel remorse. You're like, hell yeah, I look good. Kermit the Frog is what I was going for. What's going on, Frantifa? If you haven't already, subscribe to this channel right now. Hit that button. And also, you can become a patron and support the show every single week. Get access to bonus episodes and exclusive merchandise. Patreon.com slash Bituation Room. Do it.